Hello and welcome to Local Information Alert Reports. I'm Amanda Panda and this is my colleague, Don't Trust Me. Thanks, Amanda. Always happy to be here. Our first order of news tonight. Thanks to unreliable weather reports, a small town in southern Nebraska has been completely demolished by what they were told would be just a light rain. It actually ended up being a severe thunderstorm with 80 mile an hour winds and hail the size of grapefruits. But on the bright side, even though most were injured, some died, and there is absolutely no hope of rebuilding, the sun still came out and produced a rainbow. In world news today, America celebrates the ultimate act of charity. Angelina Jolie has indeed sold the picture of herself at the Oscars for enough money to feed an entire village in the country of Africa. Wow, and I was just looking at that picture online. Those children are so lucky that America could feed their desire to meet such an amazing American actress. I wish I was born in the country of Africa. Don't you, Amanda? Continuing in world events, President Barack Obama has joined the American Olympic swim team. When asked to comment, Mr. President said, quote, I wanted a new platform. I plan on diving headfirst into the issues and making a quick turnaround, unquote. Some might say he was just trying to get out of hot water. And now we head to the streets with our unpaid inter... I mean, field reporter Jane Doe to ask regular people like you, what do you think? Jane Doe here with the LIR News Network asking people on the streets just like you, what do you think? So, tell me, what do you think about the Mayan prediction of a zombie apocalypse? Oh my golly, really? When? You know, like, I've always wanted to meet a zombie. I don't know if they have cool personalities or not. What do you think about the Mayan prediction of a zombie apocalypse? Why is it that we feel the need to uh, have these Mayans have all the answers, this exotic race of Yucatan Peninsula dwellers, you know, they must know what's going on. I find it absolutely offensive. What do you think about a year-long summer? Ooh, that'd be nice if you were a teacher. I, I like having them all have different names, it's, it's less confusing. What do you think about a year-long summer? They would be very, very hot. What do you think is more important to the American public, the 2012 presidential election or the Olympics? Cheesecake. What do you think about a pogo stick that doubles as a plunger? Well, it could be fun to clean the toilet, you know, like first it was kind of nasty and now you could make it like quite the activity, you know, invite people over to plunge. That's some type of freaky questions. What do you think about news reporters asking people on the street, what do you think? Uh, well, depending on the questions, uh, it can be a very valuable form of journalism. Well, what would you think about that? Good question. Thanks, Jane. It's always good to get a little insight from people who are not as well informed as we are. True that. When we return, you can love your neighbor, but you can't trust them, knowing who you should fear next, right here on Local Information Alert Reports. Are you ready? Yeah, man. Welcome back to Local Information Alert Reports. Now we go to Don't Trust Me with our health alert. Move over, swine flu. There's a new pandemic in America, and it's called hypocognoma. The cause? Contemporary television. These shows emit a special wavelength that enters an individual's brain and turns it into cherry jello. These victims are raised on these shows and develop a dependency upon them in order to have such a vicarious thrill. We call these people couch potatoes. Known carriers of hypocognoma are SpongeBob SquarePants, Jersey Shore, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, any show with the word housewives in the title, LIAR69 news station, Glee, and anything on MTV. Known survivors of this disease include Kim Kardashian, Sarah Palin, Snooki, and yours truly. <laughs> To learn more about the effects of hypocognoma, please go to our website. Oh, I'm up! <laughs> In today's weather, 
Missouri will be having a nice sunny week. Time to break out my sunglasses. California, on the other hand, will be suffering from rainy weather all week long. In future news, a bunch of people I don't know recently announced that they know the weather for 2020. Due to global warming, temperatures will remain above 100 degrees all year long. But I'm not crying because that means I get to wear my swimsuit all year. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, Sunny. And now we go to our economy reports. The government's fancy charts and graphs tell us that the value of the dollar is so low, McDonald's has had to switch to a $5 value menu. Similar situations are happening in Europe, with the value of the euro so low that young children have had to try to age themselves 25 years in order to get jobs and support their families. When asked to comment, one of the children said, quote, Working is really hard, but I love my mommy and daddy. Unquote. Ah, such wonderful kids. And speaking of love, Cherry is a new diamond. And proposing to your significant... Excuse me, Daunt. We have breaking news. <gasps> There is an uncontrollable toilet overflow in this news station right now. Authorities say that we should really ban Taco Tuesday. I'm coming! <laughs> Thank you for watching Local Information Alert Reports. On behalf of Sunny Rayburn, Don't Trust Me, and our unpaid intern, I'm Amanda Panda. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same news.